Well, we got it jacked up and we got the wheel off. We, uh, we're going to pull out the bearings, pull out the drums, uh, see what the brakes look like, make sure they're working up good. And um, this is the new, this is the new spring. It's a 6,000 pound, I think it's 3,000 pounds a side. But uh, that should, that should give me a pretty stiff ride. But um, there's a, there's a big dent on the frame up here behind the, the axle that uh, the axle's obviously been hitting the frame. <laughs> it obviously is uh, overloaded quite frequently. So we'll get the, we'll get the tools and we'll get to work on changing the springs and I think we'll leave the axle alone. So let us start the removal of the axle from the spring and changing the spring. <sighs> have a jack stand under the axle so when the spring drops the uh, jack stand will hold it up bolts weren't on too tight I have to see how the spring bolts are bolts for the spring. I just put the jack under the axle to hold it up because when I pushed in these screws the, the spring fell down a little bit so I don't want it to I don't want to make it unaligned as I put the screws in and out so now you gotta see if we can punch these out one side. Well, I got stupid and I just pounded that screw out of there with a hammer. And these, uh, these bolts have splines on them down at the head, so they lock in there and don't turn. And, and I ruined the threads on the end, and I, what I should have done is put the nut on it and pound it on the nut that was uh, screwed in a ways until the splines came loose. I didn't realize it was just splines. But um, hopefully I can buy a new one of these. Here's the old spring, four leaf. <laughs>
I had to sand the threads down to get rid of the crushed ones. And then I got the nut back on it, so it seems to be fine. These springs come with hangers, but they're 6,000 pound hangers, so they're much bigger, beefier, and I'd have to re-weld this thing onto the frame. So I'm glad I can use the old stuff. Um, since the weight of the trailer isn't changing, I don't have to think about using the heavier duty hangers and stuff. Now this axle is an over axle. It's over the top of the springs and it has this flat spot that sits on the springs and that little uh, n nubbin down there has to go in a hole in the bottom. You can just see the hole in the bottom. So now I got to line that up and get that in there. And the uh, jack stand I had under the axle was keeping it from going down because of course these springs are much more bowed and uh, they're a better spring. Actually, take that out of there. There. That went on there nicely. want to fit now. Now the other problem is this is a five versus a four spring. Five leaves instead of four. So I need the longer U, U uh, bolts Mine won't, won't reach, and the new ones are a bit bigger, but I think they'll work. Again, they're a little more sturdy, but um, I think they'll be all right. I'm going to go to this auto store and see if I can get these longer, and then I'll change them back out to these, this kind that fits the axle a little tighter, but we'll see. We'll see how it works. Well, unfortunately, these U bolts are also longer than the, they, the threads don't go where they need to go. So I'm going to have to put, I'm going to have to have, find longer ones of the originals. Try to get them to work. You know. So, we went to the store, took the old one. And we got new ones, which are a little longer. So, we're saved by O'Reilly's. They're, uh, inch and a half longer so way longer than they need to be but I don't think that'll be a problem if necessary I can cut them down now the problem is they only had one box of these so I only have one side I'll have to find the other side before we start taking it all apart I think that's uh, the way they should be. So, springs are changed. We'll have to check to see the torque, get the torque specs right, and uh, clean up the brakes, put in the new bearings, 
get the wheel on. See you on the next adventure.